here we are at last. It is time to show you guys our RV reveal. We are beyond ecstatic. If I get emotional, I'm sorry, but I am just like so blown away, so grateful, so happy and excited. And I just still cannot believe this is our RV. It is wild. And y'all, I had this whole entire idea of how I wanted this video to be and how I wanted it to go. And I was gonna show you guys before we ever put anything in here, kind of like an empty RV reveal. And the day we got it, it was pouring down rain it actually has not stopped pouring down rain until today so it has been quite the adventure and experience already um and that day was just like so long and getting it set up and it was just insane so i was like you know what that is what like rv and camping is all about you guys just like roll with it no pun intended so that is what we did we have been in the rv now for two or three days and so our stuff is in here it's not perfectly clean it is it is what it is and I hope you guys are going to enjoy it and love it just as much as we do. Okay, first of all, we did our research for well over a year. We have looked at so many different RVs. You guys know we've gone to lots of different um, RV dealerships and we did end expos. up... Expos. Yes, Expos, you name it. And we did end up purchasing this RV from Campers Inn in Myrtle Beach and they were wonderful. Like. I literally went back there because of their customer service. That is like really important to me and they were incredible. So after lots and lots of research, we definitely knew we wanted to get a grand design and then it was just all about picking the right floor plan, which y'all know with RVs, there are so many to choose from. So we looked and looked and looked and we found the perfect one, at least the perfect one for us. So without further ado, we're going to tell you guys exactly which green design we picked out and I'm going to let Bunky tell you because I always mess up the numbers and letters and all of that. So, Mr. B. It is the Imagine Series travel trailer that is uh, the 2670 MK model. Yes. But anywho, we are going to give you guys an entire tour of our travel trailer. And also, hello, we need to tell you guys the name of our travel trailer because from all of the YouTube videos that we watch and all of our friends who have travel trailers or RVs or campers or whatever it is, they all have a name for theirs. So Bunky and I had to come up with a name for Don't ours. Don't tell them yet. Don't tell them yet. Okay, why? Because you're going to show them. I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm going to show you our name. So I'll just wait. Yeah. Okay, you ready to get on this tour? Gotta keep them, uh, I'm so excited. Gotta keep them on the hook. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this obviously is our front door right when you walk in. And then immediately to the left is kind of our entertainment center. And Bunky is going to show you all the things about this. I'll show you as much as I know already. Yeah, we're definitely still learning. One of the first things that I would like everybody to know, <laughs> which is, this is extremely boring, but these are blackout shades and they're like, you pull them and they just go uh, up. <laughs> we're Ocean Lakes, by the way, and that's what's going on outside. <laughs> uh, there we are. So anyway, uh, so that's that. Uh huh. But then we have our um, fireplace here. Yes. And it makes colors. It changes colors, yeah. Different colors. Let me see if I can figure out how to know. Yep. So we got all these different color options. It actually does put out heat. Which is great for whenever we're gonna be in the cold. RVing in the winter. Yep, and it has like a timer on it too, so you can set it for like four hours or six hours or something. And then it's not seven o'clock in the morning. No. <laughs> Um, but then you push that and then this folds down and that's our radio, CD player, DVD player, I think. I guess you can hook a USB up, plug your phone in. It has it's, Bluetooth and like the speakers are in here and then outside as well. So we really love that actually. We've used it every single day and just like listen to music in here and outside, which is so fun. Mm -hmm. So then there's this magic button here. And out of nowhere, <laughs> our 40 inch Roku, or it's a TCL TV with Roku. Yes, which has been awesome because Bunky and I have been able to watch Netflix every single night. We've been able to watch, there's like a Roku channel. I was watching ESPN last night, people. Yeah, it's pretty How amazing. Cool. <laughs> and it also picks up a few channels like cable wise Nintendo too. channels, whatever yeah. those are. Um, we got a nice light up here. Okay, so that's our entertainment area. That's the entertainment center. Friends. 
Um, oh, we didn't say, I don't, I don't know what's in these things. So there's like storage on each side of this too, which is crazy. Yeah. Right? We have a ton of storage in here. Yeah. Four. We got three drawers here. Yeah. As you can see. Another one here. I love that Monkey like took over this. I love it. Monkey, show us. Some silverware and pans and such. We got all the storage Three up more here. Up here. Um, we're entering our kitchen area. This is like our prep space. Which let me say something else too. Cool. Whenever like if we had friends over in our camper and we were entertaining and cooking dinner, we could totally put our TV down and then have all of this space to like serve food, which I think is really cool. That was like another selling feature for yeah, me. Yeah, like so much counter space. And if y'all saw one of my videos, um, we got this rug from Sam's Club recently, and I got it to sit behind the kitchen, and literally, it is like perfect centimeter to centimeter yeah there's like one inch right yeah. here so that worked um, out good <laughs> yeah and then the trusty microwave uh which we have already used twice works great pretty awesome right um Our this has a little furion uh stove furion three burner propane stove does this fold this way uh -uh, the other way okay that way just kidding yeah Fold that bad boy. It's like a splash We've used this. We made some eggs and bacon, and they yep. turned out great. Now yeah. we have not used the oven. We probably won't use the oven just because we'll grill out a lot. But and you can turn these lights. I don't know what that one. Does. Oh, that one turns the oven inside oven light on too. So I mean, that is massive. We're <laughs> kind of huge a, oven. Cooking a turkey in there later. Okay, I'm gonna take over the island part because this is like my favorite. And y'all, I'm sorry if it's loud. There's like trucks everywhere outside. A, a diesel truck just fired up. Yes, outside. this trash can is actually gonna be our outside trash can. We just haven't found one for in here yet. So for the time being, it's in here. And I love this rig because of the island as well. I just thought it was so cool. It makes it feel even more homey. So we have this big island with like this farmhouse style sink. There are dirty dishes in there. No judgment. <laughs> It's only two cups. This is our little that. drying rack that rolls up. Yeah. Um, and then to make it a little homey, I did add a few little touches. So I have our dish soap, hand soap, and then like our countertop spray here. And then I brought this little sign from home. This is from Ikea. Just so you know, make it feel like home in here, which I love. And then over here, we also have three big drawers for storage. Yeah, that is oh, hello. All the storage underneath the sink too. Dang, girl. We can just put a trash can out of there like we have the house. I know, right? Okay, moving on. Here is our refrigerator. Um, it is a little bit smaller. We have our ice cubes in there. Um, but it has worked just fine. We've had plenty of space. So, so far, so good. And then directly beside that is our pantry. Pantry. Which is pretty big. And then something else that's really cool with Grand Design is they have these drawers, I think pretty much in most of their um, RVs. And this one is for, which keep it out, B? <laughs> this one is for wine bottles, which is super cool. You can obviously take that insert out if you don't want to store wine bottles in there. And, for and then our this one. Four legged friends. Is for the doggy, which is so cool. I don't know if we'll actually use this for Daisy Mays. No, look up what kind of dog is going to be eating out of there. A huge one. I was about to say she is too small. Oh, okay. Well, but anyway, we'll probably take that out and use that as more storage. Yeah, we will take that one out. But I'm not taking out the wine one. No, you no. can leave that one. Um, I'll show you guys our pantry. We need to get like shelves so we can add more stuff in here. But they're really deep and pretty good size. So. Okay, so before I show you guys this backspace, which is the selling feature for me of why we got this RV, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you our RV's name because our sign's back there, so you're gonna see it anyway. But I also wanna tell you the backstory because it's just so crazy how this like all came to be. I'm telling you, God has a plan for your life. Like it is just wild how like everything lines up. Like it's insane, but anyway, so like, I guess it's been like five or six years ago. Um, my mom actually went out of town for a weekend and she came back and she's like, I got you something. And I'm like, okay. And she brings this sign over to our house and we have always just used this sign as like decor in our home. You guys, I'm sure have seen it in our house. And um, whenever we were like getting the RV, Bunky and I were both trying to come up with a name. We're thinking like Bunky's abode. And I'm like, no, 
and I said, Bunky, we just have to call it the bunk house because lots of RVs have a bunk house, which is just like bunk beds, and most of them have that. In fact, even though ours does not, it's just like hilarious that most RVs have a bunk house, but we are the bunkies, so I was like, this RV has to be called the bunk house. So that is the name of our RV, and this is the size that my mom got me. Um, so it's just like perfect. It's like our little mascot. So I'm gonna leave it in here as decor and bring it with us. I've gotta like figure out a way to kind of um, put it in here like permanently. I guess we can use like command strips or something. Um, but how crazy that I got this sign years ago, and now it is literally like perfect in the name of our RV. Like it's just only God. I'm telling you. So anyway. So, like I said, this was like the huge selling feature for me in this RV. Ignore our extra water and cooler down there. I think we're going to get like a little stool to kind of push in there just to have extra seating. And obviously because this is a desk and you guys know I do YouTube full time. So, I want to be able to travel and explore as much as possible. And I was like, it would be so cool if I had a desk area to like sit and edit videos and do all of my work. And if Bunky is working remotely as well this would have been really nice if you are homeschooling and you get an RV I'm just saying this would be great for homeschoolers as well so anyway this was a huge selling feature for us plus it gives us like these two other drawers of storage and all of these cabinets which is incredible I'm telling y'all we have so much storage in this RV and then directly beside that we have our booth dinette which also turns into like a little bed we haven't tried it out yet. I think my parents are going to try it out next week. So we'll see how it goes. And. Oh, yes. These. On each. Underneath each. Seat. Yeah. So there's storage underneath each side. And another reason why we love Grain Design. I think all of their um, floor plans have like this Reverse color. cushions. <laughs> well, I think they all have like this color scheme now, which we really love. So it has like the faux granite look, which is really cool. And then I love these cushions. They are reversible if you don't want this pattern. But I mean, how stinking adorable and pretty is that? Um, but if you have like kids, it also just has the, um, what do you call it? Not leather, but. Uh, leather. Whatever it is, it, you can easily wipe, wipe. off. Yeah, wipe. But this is like very cozy. Just so cute. Yeah. And this table folds down and then those come over and you make another little bit here. Yes, and I love all the windows in here too. Like it's so bright and fun. Got lights up here. <laughs> and then directly beside that is our seating area. I think you can opt to just get like a couch, but we love these recliners. Like y'all, yeah. this is our favorite thing. <laughs> There's an option for a trifold sofa here as well so that you have more sleeping space for people, but we didn't want anybody coming with us. So. <laughs> I'm totally we're kidding. kidding. We're totally kidding. kidding. We're going to put anybody and everybody over here. That's right. And yeah. because this space right here is so big, like we could totally put an air mattress down here if we needed to. And I know all of you are going to ask because you already have, what if we have a baby? I get it. This is like the perfect spot for one of those play pens. Play pens. So no worries we thought about it too um and then these and are really cool a little tiny person can sleep very comfortably over there yes exactly like a three-year-old four-year-old five yeah. year old if, exactly. they, if they do that at that age i don't know yeah, they do exactly like not the crib. um <laughs> and then another thing about these um recliners are they are heated so in the winter that'll be so nice they light up which is cool and then also they um massage. have like a massage which is awesome so yeah, it's just so fun. And here's a little console for remotes. And then, um, yeah, they recline. I'm not going to demonstrate that. Show me. Show me how it, okay. Show me how you do it. It's like a little lever that you pull. And so, then you can so cozy. Like do that. Every night this is us. Relaxed. Fireplace. Watching some TV. It's so nice. Got a mirror up here. Yeah, and then up here we have a mirror, which is cool. It makes it look more residential our and Daisy May is loving it our and air conditioner is right up there yeah I just turned on so I'm sorry if it's loud um also people never mind this is silly what we have a little like exhaust fan here how about that huh <laughs> okay come show on. us the back come on this way people here's the command center 
Uh, and then AC behind door number two. Yeah, I love like sliding little like barn doors too. Okay, ignore my uh, straightener. Here, I'll move it. Thank you. Okay, so this is our bathroom, which is also a pretty good size. Like, it's not the worst thing ever. Our shower, that's my makeup eraser. Um, Bumpy, I would say there is plenty of room in there. Yeah, Bumpy said there's plenty of room. He took a shower in here already, and he said it was just fine, so that is good. We have storage back here, which just has toilet paper in it right now, a little towel rack, and then that is our toilet. Um, and then over here, we have these like big cuppies where we can store. And those things are deep. They're super deep, so you can put like towels and all kinds of things in there. And we can brush our teeth right there. <laughs> That's our sink and our soap. And then all of these um, doors have storage as well. And then there's three down here and this one I'm not kidding when I tell y'all there is so much storage in here and then outside of the bathroom is the <laughs> bedroom okay what are you doing um anyway here is our bedroom and let me just tell you let me just tell you that if you are in the market or you're gonna get a new RV invest in a new mattress I promise you you will not want this one um it was the worst night's sleep I have ever had. Like my back was hurting so bad. This thing is harder than a rock. And we actually got a, um, what do you call it? Mattress, mattress topper. topper. For we don't it. have it on there yet. Yeah, we didn't bring it because we didn't have like enough space in the truck on the way here. And we we're like, oh, it's fine. We can make it a couple days. No, I should have not packed anything else but that thing because this is not comfortable. I don't think it's that bad. It's bad. I don't think it's that bad. Anyway, besides that, we're going to... Oh, Whoa. man, Daisy, who you mad at? The window's open. But besides that, it's really nice and roomy. I love having, like, this little cave. I don't know. It's, like, so much fun. Um, and then these have, like, a blue light. And then also, like, oh, sorry, a regular light. And then Bunky and I both have, like, our own little cubby, which is really cool. Um, and they have outlet in there. Yeah. What is the other thing? Is there, like, just a USB plug, too? Yeah. And then show them your, uh, or you want to show the whatever. Either one. So we both have two drawers and then like a big closet. The drawers over here and then same on that side. I'll show you mine, although it's like a mess. Those things are deep. And we have nothing hung up right now. But, best of all, and another reason that we bought this RV is because of this bad boy. A whole nother wardrobe. A whole nother closet and then we have our laundry basket in there and then there's two more huge drawers right there yep more places to put stuff than we can put but if we live in it full time that's gonna come in handy yeah oh and last but not least it's the emergency exit if we need it and I know how to use it <laughs> And there is storage underneath our bed as well and we need to get like more pillows and make it look pretty in here but for the time being it will work this is daisy may's little um favorite blanket that's where she sleeps every night oh and monkey look up there another air conditioner <laughs> Y'all, we needed that second AC unit because I like to be cold when I am sleeping and it blows right on me. Mm -hmm. Are you going to show them the outside? Not right now. There's like 10,000 people outside. Okay, eventually. Actually, we'll, this dude over here. We'll show you guys outside in a little bit. when we get home, I'll do it outside the house or okay. something. So that is a tour of the bunkhouse. We hope you guys enjoyed it and loved it. This is literally a dream come true. I cannot even put into words. I know I just keep saying that I'm so grateful, but that is like the only word that comes to my mind because I just still cannot believe this is ours and I can't wait for all of the adventure and to explore and to make memories and to live really big dreams out while also living tiny. I just think it is the coolest thing. And y'all, I just want to tell you, do not ever give up on your dreams because they will come true. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, so happy. Like you just have no idea. Like it's amazing, like the coolest thing ever. So anyway, before I get too sappy and emotional, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching and for loving us and for encouraging us and being so excited with us. Like, 
you guys have just made this even more fun and you've made it possible so thank you from the bottom of our hearts we love you so much and now we are gonna go sit outside on our little patio and <laughs> enjoy some little bit of sunshine it's still cloudy out but it is not raining which is a good thing because it's been raining Literally. And it's like 72 degrees. Yes, Perfect. it feels so good. So anyways, and we're going to grill out tonight. I cannot wait. So thank you guys for watching. I love you. If you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you are so excited for all of the RV adventures. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all. First morning in the camper. We're watching some Rachel Ray. I've got my coffee because I haven't washed my um, coffee mugs yet. It's just in my little cup. I'm about to make some bacon. We got the gas going. And then Bunky is over here assembling our new coffee maker. Yes. He's going to make some fresh coffee. Some good old traditional drip coffee. Okay, so we are going to get a new blackstone um just to take one camping with us we're gonna keep the one at our house yeah and then we're gonna get the 22 inch 22 inch so that is coming but we can't find one anywhere in Myrtle Beach so we got this little like portable gas one it was really cheap um just to kind of have this one as well so I'm just gonna put it together and then tonight we're making some grilled chicken and I just did a little bit of olive oil and then y'all know we love this um roasted garlic and herb seasoning i did like some salt and pepper with it so that's what we're cooking for dinner and we're also gonna have um we picked up this honey pecan salad that has um raisins crumble blue cheese praline pecans and honey mustard dressing that sounds so good so that's what we're making I think we're packed up, about to put the slides in, attach the truck, but are we going home? No, we're not. We're not going home. <laughs> Where the adventure continues. We'll show you when we get there. Okay, so I just spilled my drink everywhere, but we made it to our second destination. We have this screen door open because y'all, it is like 63 degrees, absolute perfection. I'm actually chilly and should have packed a like bigger jacket. And then tonight we're gonna build a little fire in here, which is gonna be so nice and cozy. We have like a little pad and picnic table and it is just so much fun. We are at a KOA in Lumberton. I think this is still South Carolina and it is so quaint and cute and cozy. Look at this RV y'all. Like how cute is that? Oh my gosh, it's adorable. And everyone's outside and they're grilling and they have fires and it smells good. It's just so nice. I like love the little camping community.